Hello and gentlemen, in today's discussion we will be talking about the power calculation of an engine. There, there are many processes to find out the power and as per the maker of the engine, the formula for power calculation will be given in the manual of the engine. If we talk about the low speed engine, it can be generally be calculated by power card or the indicator card. The formula for the calculation is according to the formula power P is equal to PM L A M. PM is mean effective pressure in bars. That we have to find out from the indicator card. L is the stroke of the engine in meters that is fixed. A is the bore of the engine in meter square. It is also fixed. And N here it refers to the RPS that means the revolutions per second. So now how to find out the mean effective pressure? That is found out from the indicator card or the power card. While Calculating the mean effective pressure from the power card, we will have to keep in mind a few things that we will have to note down. That is, firstly, the revolutions the engine takes between two certain points normally a round figure say about one hour point number two is that the engine rpm should not be varying that means the load on the engine should be steady the engine should be running at its maximum power that means the ship should be fully loaded other factors are like noting down the barometric pressure, fuel temperature, fuel pressure and the exhaust temperatures of individual units, the scavenging temperature, scavenging pressure, RPM of the turbocharger and the temperature of the exhaust gases that are driving the turbocharger before and after the turbocharger. The indicator card is taken to find out the power output of the engine. Indicator cards are taken individually for every unit and the individual work and the power output are then added to give the total output of the total power output of the engine. Volume and pressure they both go on changing as per the as the cycle goes on. So from the indicator card as we as we will see that the pressure is not 
constant on the piston actual cycle that is taking actual cycle in the cylinder and this graph is to find out the mean effective pressure for the two axis this is the volume axis in the horizontal axis and in the vertical axis that is pressure in bars so and this length is the total length of the travel of the piston so we can see as the piston is traveling up it is doing compression it is compressing the air that it has got from the scavenging here so it is going on compressing so actually we are giving work input to compress the air this work input will be our loss of work the expansion is taking place expansion is taking place that means expansion of the combustion gases are taking place so out of this expansion we are getting the energy from the cylinder this setting in a different angle in this angle that are the useful energy what we are getting because the useful energy how we get the useful energy is that the total energy that we are getting due to the expansion is all this area below this expansion curve so it includes this and this all this area right up to here up to here from here to here and up to the base line but previously during compression we have spent this much of energy all these settings in this different angle so the useful energy is the work output during the expansion less the work input for the compression so the settings in a different angle in a white line that gives us the useful work output which we are getting out of this field what you can see is that i have drawn one extra dotted line here right up to this place here what is this this is the transformation of this area under this under this so this area has been plotted under this line this is the map it has been drawn under this line so what we can see is that the height here it is constant right up to the right up to the end this pressure is supposed to be acting throughout the travel of the piston right up to here so the energy output will be pressure into 
volume that means the pressure into the area and length so this is the w upon l this w w upon this l so this will give us the mep mean effective pressure formula to find out the mean effective pressure is w upon l this l this height this height into the spring constant this spring constant spring constant is how much bar it represents for each unit of length so so after finding out the value of mean effective pressure we can find out the power is like this power p is equal to pm l a n pm is found out l is fixed a is fixed and n is also found out so in this way the power is to be found out